These five apps generate $180,000 every single month. And best of all, they were all built entirely with AI. But this begs the question, what makes the difference between an app doing just $5,000 a month all the way to an app doing over $90,000 a month? Well, I'm going to answer that question in this video as I break down each app, starting with the lowest app on this list, Vibe Sale. Coming in at just under $3,000 a month is our lowest app on this list. But I have to say, I have a soft spot in my heart for this app because, I mean, just look at it. It's absolutely beautiful. Not only is it beautiful, I have some calming music going in the background. I honestly feel like I could just drift away and nice little game to play before bed. It's just a delightful experience. Now, the real way that this app makes money is as you can see, there's these ads all over on these islands, on the blimps, apparently on a pop-up as well. And so people can pay in order to actually advertise in this game. And you'd be surprised by the way, that this these kind of games are actually quite easy to make. I've myself played around with 3D uh, games using Lovable and it's something that you can do quite easily. In fact, I will have a link to be able to remix uh, your own 3D game in the description using Lovable, just to show you how easy it is to get started. Now, let's take a look at the launch strategy of this app. This was launched by Nicola, as you can see here on Twitter, you know, it seemed like it's just a small little side project he started. You can see he built this in five days after being inspired by levels. And you can see that right here is the Stripe link. If you want to sponsor an island, you can get one for $300 a month. And you can see that one of these companies seemed like they sponsored the entire game, which means that his, his revenue is probably hovering still around that $3,000 a month mark. But I gotta say for a vibe coded app, this is actually quite impressive. Now, obviously, probably not the most scalable thing in the world. And given that he only has 3000 followers, there's not a huge distribution beyond just like him posting on Twitter. But you know, for the most part, this is one of those things where it's like you launch it once and you don't need to think about it again. It's a fun little thing. It doesn't take a lot of time. And sometimes you gotta build just to enjoy yourself. So while this game is basic, it is the first app on this list. And I gotta say, I think everybody should play Vibe Sale. We can run up the islands, we can cake over the world together because Vibe Sale is, is a game that is on the come up to say the least. So moving on to the next app on this list, coming at $22,000 in MRR, we have Trust MRR, which very simply put, as Mark said, is a easy app to verify your Stripe metrics. If you spend any time on X, you would know that posting your revenue and screenshots is a very common thing, but there's no way to verify it. And so Mark built a simple app where you upload your Stripe API key and it gets you the verified revenue of that business, which means that you can then screenshot it using Trust MRR, I assume, or you can take a look at their directory here and you can see all these verified MRR numbers that people can now go share on socials knowing that they are verified. Seems like you can share it right from here. Also visit their X profile, see all the other projects that they've contributed to. I mean, this is a very cool thing. Now, what I really like about this app is he actually just relaunched his own profitable startup marketplace to buy and sell different startup ideas, which is, seems like a very obvious next move as there are some big players in this space but he has already collected all this information on these different companies because they've been verifying their revenue. And so it makes a sensible next step to now create your marketplace around, you know, trying to sell these, these smaller apps. So this is a super great strategy. And you can see Mark is one of the, you know, is a very big builder in the space. He has 250,000 on X. He's built on multiple other different apps. And he built this in just under 24 hours, vibe coding the entire thing. And he gave the full story here on his blog where he explains how, you know, Levels, which seems like to be the guy that's inspiring everybody, has, you know, basically said it's so hard, easy to fake MRI screenshots. And so he went ahead and sold this. And as you can see, he built this app in 24 hours and it did $20,000 the next day. And so you can see this app is is easily going to be doing over $22,000 every single month. This is the power of what you can do with vibe coding because you can launch so fast. There really is no risk in starting ideas like this. Next on the list, we have an app doing $40,000 every single month that was entirely vibe coded using Lovable. Now, what Stardust is, is an app that helps marketers come up with viral ideas using things that have already worked. And so you can see right here, we can click implement, we can click a brand that we want to basically 
steal from, we'll click Dr. Squash, and it will start basically dissecting the ads that Viral Squash or Dr. Squash, sorry, uses in order to run their ads. Because one key thing that this guy figured out or something that many people don't know is that Facebook, Instagram, uh, YouTube, all these platforms are required to share publicly their database of ads. So if you go to Facebook ad library, for example, you can actually see, let's say I wanna search up to see the ads that Lovable is running. I can do this pretty easily within Facebook. But this guy just centralized it all in one spot, put some AI on it to analyze it and built a really compelling product that he was able to launch. And in 24 hours was able to scale it, I believe to 100,000 and now it's at 500,000. ARR. And this has been completely vibe code. And I'll also link the full story to this down below because he did a really great interview with uh, the lovable team on this. And you can see these guys also went on to raise some money after building their initial product, which just goes to show after winning their lovable uh, hackathon, they won $2,000 and then they continued to double down and were able to collect more funding from it seems like Pitch Drive, which is uh, I guess a venture firm of some sorts. Now coming in at seventy thousand dollars a month, we have Code Spring, which has been entirely vibe coded by our the founder Sebastian, who is a prominent builder in the space that has documented his journey. You can see he launched this on Twitter in February twenty twenty five, and since then has been able to scale it to doing over seventy thousand dollars every month while documenting the process using a mix of tools from Lovable Cursor, probably other vibe coding tools, and has been able to vibe code this entirely without writing any lines of code. Now, CodeSpring is a really great tool which solves a really prominent problem, which is that with so many people vibe coding, we need an easy way for people to actually create plans and create prompting strategies to vibe coding. And so Sebastian has gone and solved this with his tool, which essentially helps people create flow charts and feature sets and all the different things you would need in an app. And then using AI it helps you generate prompts, it helps you generate strategies to make tools like Lovable as effective as possible. And he's been able to scale this really well. You can see he doesn't have a massive Twitter following only at 9,000, but because the problem is so niche to his audience, he's been able to scale this really aggressively. But on top of that, Sebastian has really focused in on marketing. Now, one of the things that he's doing that's very different, first off, he's going very heavy on paid ads, but he's not driving it to a traditional sign up of the app. He's actually running a continuous live webinar that is teaching people how he built his app to the revenue that he has. And so it's a little bit of a weird kind of positive feedback loop because the more his app grows, the more he's able to talk about how he was able to build his vibe code app and help other people do the same using his app. And so it's a bit of a genius play using a bit of a mix of, you know, kind of info webinar style marketing that then converts into his platform. But you can see that he's being very intentional with the marketing. And I think this is something that people often overlook is that if you do have a big audience, then you can launch something overnight and get users. But if you have a smaller audience like Sebastian, you have to be more intentional with being able to scale. This is an amazing app, great execution but it doesn't come close to our last app, which is at $90,000 a month, which is by the man, the myth, the legend, Peter Levels. And Peter Levels probably started the whole vibe coding gaming movement with the launch of this app, which is basically a flight simulator that he was able to build in just a few hours. Similar to um, our app Vibe Sale, Peter uses in-app advertisements in order to drive revenue. You can see he was able to launch this back in February 2025 as just a simple game he built within three hours entirely with AI and overnight it was able to drive almost tens of thousands of dollars in revenue just from people trying to sponsor the game in app. He even got a repost from Elon Musk which I'm sure did not hurt the revenue. And so this really goes to show you big people in the space, including Patrick Carlson, Elon, all these people that are talking about the power that AI will ha have on the gaming industry, on app development space. And you can see just after 10 days of launched, he had 16,000 people play it and had 19 blimps that were sponsored for $38,000 in total, bringing a total to $38,000 a month. This is just 10 days after the initial launch. Since then, he's been able to scale to over $90,000 a month. And it's just something that he probably just doesn't think about in the background. He launched it once, never thought about it again, built it in three hours and has a million dollar app on his hands. Now, if you wanna know what the theme across all these apps is, it's one thing is that because vibe coding has completely reduced the barrier to entry to almost zero, you have people able to build something overnight and then launch it to either their audience or through some kind of paid acquisition channel and able to scale it 
to hundreds, if not millions of dollars every single year. But the thing that you need to do, the thing that really differentiates the companies that just get to $3,000 a month or less, all the ones to things like Levels that was able to scale multiple apps to millions of dollars in revenue, is that they think through not only just the product, but the go-to-market strategy. Because in an era where everyone's gonna be able to build software, the only way to differentiate yourself is how to go to market. And I'm gonna be covering that in depth in another video, but if you want some more ideas of apps that you can build today, I have a full video ranking 20 different app ideas that I think you can go and build right now to start driving revenue on day one. I hope you enjoyed this video. I would appreciate if you hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next week. Cheers.